Hey folks, Faulkner Fixes All here, you know, doing what I do. Uh, today, we're going to work on a 1950-ish Western Flyer boys bike. You know, there's not a lot of redeeming qualities on this thing, but I said I'd fix it. I got to fix the frame. There's a huge crack from somebody. Well, let me show you. <laughs> it's pretty gnarly. <laughs> so here's said bike. It does say Western Flyer on the grips here. There's a W and an F, barely discernible. If you're really into bikes, you know these are either uh, Western Flyer or Wards. It looks like a W and an F. Just barely can see that. It looks like a Western Flyer. Quick overview. Forks are slightly bent and you can feel it. Uh, it's been totally oversprayed everywhere. I'm surprised they didn't even paint the tires, but they didn't. The tires are original Western Flyer tires. Uh, but yeah, you're not going to be using these. Yeah, they're 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 gone. I'm sure there might even be a date code on these, but I'm thinking this is 1950s. Of course, it's got the giant, you know, let's go to Bonneville Salt Flats sprocket on here um that was common anyway there's a big there's a big problem down in here let's get it on the stand and i'll tell you what we're gonna do uh the pro bowl i was watching the pro bowl and it was so boring and ridiculous that i decided just to go out in the shop and do some work so better for everybody involved <laughs> for my psyche okay here we go let's put you on the head cam here Boop. All right, so on this bike, I don't think we're going to worry about putting a piece of paper here to scratch it. The, the paint is very, very poor to begin with. And God, this thing is heavy. Ah. Looking for that bike stand assistant. Get in there. Okay, and unfortunately it has to go even up higher. Bear with me. Almost. Okay. Whew. God, these are heavy. Uh, yeah. E. E. Okay, so what happened was somebody rode it so long with bad bearings. They're they're adjusted now, but uh, they drove it so long. It cut into the frame right there. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. There we go. Yeah, the uh, gear actually cut into the frame a little bit and it's cracked. You can't see it. You can see it better underneath, but that's completely cracked all the way through. Well, that ain't gonna cut it. You know, we gotta fix it. So to do that, I can't weld it with this fender on here. I don't think I can weld it with these cranks on here. So, uh, oh, and there's another issue back here. Yeah, well, I might as well point out all the redeem redeeming qualities this bike has. These adjusters for the chain, they're broken off in there. That's gonna require some heating. Those never come out. Uh, well, they come out when there's a head on them and they're greased and they're in good shape, but this bike, none of the above on that. <laughs> Nice little brake bar clamp there. That's uh, that's factory. <laughs> and then this other adjuster. Let's see. I think you can see that there. That's broken off also. And that's going to require heat. So let's get to it. Let's take this back wheel off. And maybe get the fender off. And I don't know how long this video is going to kick on. But uh, we'll give it a shot. See what we can do in a few minutes out here. Should be pretty easy to get that brake bar off. <laughs> okay, releasing the brake bar. That was a rough one. Nice. Good. Always 
fun to get something like that off. Okay. And as you can see, this hub, the brake bar is actually loose, even though that's tight. That means that this actual axle is probably stripped. Uh, like I said, there's a lot going on here on this bike and it's not good. Uh, original Western Flyer tires from 1950. And uh, yeah, it's been stored very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot going on and it's not good. All right, so at least they double nutted the fenders. Look at that. Wow. That's uh impressive. Yeah, they they double nutted the fenders. Look at that. That's probably a good thing. Okay, we've got to get a little box for these parts, but for now, I'll just put it over here. All right, and this side. This side was fairly loose. Okay. Oh, the whole wheel is loose. Okay, well, maybe that axle's good. You know, I was just judging that this brake bar was loose. Um, and it's actually the whole wheel. So that's kind of a good thing, actually. All right. So let's try to get this wheel off that's been on here 50 years. <laughs> well, is it 50? Well, yeah, if it's a 1950, uh, you know, carry the one and do some algebra. Algebra will save your life. I guess it's 50, 73 years old. We don't really know the year, but I'm saying it's maybe 50s because it's not pre-war uh, and it's not it's not 57 and above because they kind of changed the way the frame was. Now, I could be wrong. Someone could say, no, that's that's pre-war, but I'm kind of thinking this was 50s. Still got the curve here. I could be wrong, though. So if you're an expert on Western Flyers, you know, chime in, bro, or ladies. You know, time to chime in. Because, uh, you know, I don't know everything. I don't even know how to get a wheel off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, let's make it easy. Okay. Yeah, I guess I do know how to get a wheel off. Okay, so yeah, this is a... Looks like a new departure. Yes, this is a new departure. And the axle is either stripped. Yeah, that should be tight. It's just spinning around on here. Well, maybe they just forgot to do the uh, adjustment here. It's either stripped or someone didn't tighten that, but it definitely needs a repack and it does not feel very good. Okay, so we'll just put this over here in the almost scrap pile. All right, let's see if we can get that off. Hey, we're doing pretty good. What, five minutes in and we took a wheel off. Heck, we're, uh, we're really rolling here. Oh, that's sweet. Ah, uh, the things you find on bikes. This appears to be a, the incorrect fastener. This is like a machine screw with a beveled head. At least they kept the washer on there. And I dropped the screw somewhere, the bolt. Oh, well, no great loss. Oh, there's a rust hole here. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. This is getting, uh, looks like it's been repaired here several times. Oh, we're going to have to patch that too. This is getting pretty thin here, bro. Hmm. Wow. They rubbed the wheel on there so long they burned through the frame. Well, let's keep going. We said we we're going to fix it. It's not looking great. Uh, we'll just kick this off to the side for a minute. Okay, that's loose. And let's get this off. And this looks like a newer fastener. Yeah, that looks like somebody put that on recently way too shiny like yeah that's way too shiny 
What we'll do is we'll leave that screw in there and put the bolt on it, the nut on it. That way we, if we have to reuse that, it'll be there. Yeah, uh, definitely seen better days. Looks like somebody, somebody has already made that happen. Or maybe that was from the factory with screws. I thought these were rivets. Hmm, I could be wrong. Yeah, lots of different repairs on this bike. Obviously, they didn't repair what they should have. That's uh, a little suspect in there. Looks like freeze damage. Looks like water got in there and blew that apart, actually. Maybe. Yeah, that doesn't look good. All right, let's take this kickstand off if we can. We might even... Uh, this is going to be useless with all this paint on here, but we'll spray it. Yeah. Oh, wow. The, uh, ah, dang, the Pro Bowl was just so lame. I decided to come out here and do some work. <laughs> Did I tell you the Pro Bowl was kind of lame this year? Okay, something's spinning. Oh, no, it's working. I bet you if we wire brush that, it'd be better. Yeah. Now we know we're going to need this. Better